This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Hindu. Defense of family ownership in Kalanya TV, which is being investigated in the 2G spectrum scam. So, so there's an inqu inquiry, and I'm telling you that we will come clean out of it. So, let us wait for the case. I mean, we haven't done anything wrong. Dr. Dekar files his nomination for the Madurawal constituency. Will he be free to campaign or be forced to go back to investigation? After Dravidian Party is unleashed to deluge of freebies, the BJP sets a different tone, says its major promise is a corruption-free government. Because I am a doctor as well as a politician, 24 hours free clinic along with the 24 hours non-stop um, MLA office. Election news and updates is now just an SMS away. Welcome my Neta to Tamil Nadu politics. Music hits a high note with cricketing action. Three bands from the three host nations will play in Mumbai for the World Cup final face-off. Today is Earth Hour, a time where everyone can do their bit for the environment by turning off their lights between 8 and 9. A very good evening. You're watching Headlines now with me, Tavya. Here are the stories making national headlines. Senior DGCA official who was in charge of licensing a fake pilot in 2000 arrested in a fake pilot scam. It's cricket diplomacy before the India-Pakistan match. Pakistan media praises Manmohan's initiative and calls it a six of a piece. TV Realty is under the scandal again. Weeks after Shahid Balwa's jail documents show TV Realty paid a Congress leader's son. As the coalition forces continue to strike, Libya rebels force back Gaddafi's troops and reclaim Ajdabia. It's game, do, three and another film with his wife Aishwarya. What does Abhishek Bachchan have on his plate this year? Karunanidhi's daughter and DMK leader Kani Mori has denied all charges leveled against her and her party in the 2G spectrum scam and said that the charges are all perception based in an interview to NDTV. She also stood by ex telecom minister A. Raja and said that she would support him as long as the party did. I just want to ask you that this entire thing is now or has no longer been about A. Raja. This entire uh, question has come literally to your doorstep. Uh, Organizations which you associated with have been raided, you yourself have been questioned by the CBI. Uh, surely that couldn't have been easy for you. I mean, uh, you know, that's not an experience anyone wants to go through. Yeah, Let alone someone who's in public life. Definitely. But uh, I don't make decisions in the Kalinga TV. I might be associated with it. But uh, everybody associated with it doesn't get to make decisions. So, so even, uh, though, even though you are someone who is a 20% stakeholder in Kalinja TV, you, you have not I mean, privy I, at I all mean, to any decision making, you don't go I, to the I, office? I mean, I am not a director. I hardly go to the office. And I am not interested in what really happens over here or nor do I interfere in you know, what goes on in Kalinga TV. Apart from that, I would like to say it is an inquiry. Right. So let us wait. We are saying this is a business house. The Kalinga TV is an institution which is run, you know, as a business. But so, it's a business which is owned by, by members of the DNK yes, family. Yes, I don't so, deny it. So, so there's an inqu inquiry and I'm telling you that we will come clean out of it. So let us wait for the case. I mean, we haven't done anything wrong. So are you saying that this entire money which was transferred, the 214 crores from uh, yes, Dilbir, it was, it, which was transferred no, to Kalinga we, TV, we you borrowed no it. I'll, yeah. I'll like to correct you here. Yeah. We, I think we borrowed it from Cine Yuga, a company called Cine Yuga. That's right. So that, that is who, who we have borrowed it from. And we have returned it with interest. So it is borrowing money and returning it. And that is it. And after DB Realty's promoter Shahid Balwa was arrested in connection with the 2G Spectrum scam, another scandal has hit the telecom and real estate company. According to documents available with an RTI activist, DB Realty paid 4 crore rupees to Mumbai uh, Regional Congress Committee Chief Kripa Shankar Singh's son Narendra Mohan Singh. The company paid these in three installments in 2009. The details have come to light after a PIL was filed on the 18th of March in the Bombay High Court by RTI activist Sanjay Tiwari. The court has now directed the Enforcement Directorate, the Income Tax Department and the Anti-Corruption Bureau to conduct an inquiry against Kripa Shankar Singh and submit a report by the end of this month. 
Moving on, it's the curious case of Dr. Tekal. His life, after all, has taken a few twists and turns after he performed the autopsy on Sadiq Pasha and ever since, his resignation and ambition to contest in politics has thrown open a lot of debate. Dr. Tekal filed his nomination this noon at the Pune de Taluk office. Remember, today is the last day to file nominations for the Tamil Nadu Assembly elections. Dr. Dekal had earlier told NDTV Hindu that he put in his papers on the 3rd of March and took up a high-profile case like Basha's only because the forensic department was short-staffed. Last week, a two-member committee formed by the state government rejected Dr. Dekal's offer to resign on two grounds. But Dr. Dekal replied to the rejection letter saying he will not report to work anymore and only wants to contest the elections. And Dr. Dekal spoke exclusively to NDTV Hindu and said uh, why exactly he chose to contest from the Madhrabai constituency. We are now joined by MLA aspirant Dr. Dekal. Sir, tell us why did you choose Madhrabai constituency? Sir, Madhrabai is close to my residence where I am residing in Ananagar West Extension and I got uh, plenty of friends and relatives circle. So no, it will be easy for me to work here. But if I go to my constituency, both the candidates are already well known to me. It will be not, it will be disturbing to them if I go there. So it's better I thought I'll choose a new place and where I got a good circle of people to work for me. So hence I choose Madhuravala as the constituency. You should be keeping your fingers crossed because uh, your nomination may be accepted or rejected by the election commission. Yeah, yeah, sir. One thing, the last date was nomination is today. We went at the neck of the moment. All these are delayed due to the order given by the DVME. It was delivered to me that my uh, resignation is not accepted on 24th night only. Then 24th night, I wrote a letter that I can resign my job anytime as I'm at 10-01. So from today, I'm resigning my job. I will not attend duty from tomorrow onwards. So as of today, I am not a government servant. Now it is left to the election commission to decide whether it, to accept it or not. To, to emerge as a winning candidate, uh, by this time you should have already worked out uh, your campaigning strategy to raise above the freebies uh, being promised by the Dravidian heavyweights yeah, in Tamil Nadu. Yeah, sir. See, as an independent candidate, I cannot give more promises. One thing I can tell is, I'll be a candidate of yours. Anytime you can meet me for the reviewer regards, and I'll be fully in public work if I, I win in the candidate. And finally, what is the status of Sadiq Basha's post-mortem report, sir? So it's in the process. It will be soon delivered after all the results come. Moving on to some political news now. Well, the BJP today set a different tone in its election manifesto for Tamil Nadu. If it was freebies galore in the manifesto of the Dravidian parties, the BJP says the only freebie they promise is a corrupt free government. The party's poll pledge promises to resolve the rough over the Mullai Periyar Dam and water accessible to all in Tamil Nadu and shortage of electricity will be resolved and funds given to minority institutions will instead be given to poor Hindu school students. The BJP too has echoed Tamil sentiments saying they will make Tamil compulsory for students from class 1 to 5 and say protection of fishermen will be their top priority. But the party has not got themselves completely strange to the freebies like they claim. The BJP has promised one free cow for all BPL families in the state. And the BJP state president says that people are getting addicted to freebies, but they promise a transparent government. The BJP has just released its manifesto for the Tamil Nadu elections of 2011 and we are joined by Mr. Pond Radhakrishnan, the state BJP president. Sir, uh, this time uh, the BJP has not really had much of a presence in Tamil Nadu politics, though even when it was in power at the centre. How, how do you think it's going to change this time, sir? Definitely you are going to see the change this time. Uh, we are definitely, we, are, we hope that we will enter the assembly with the double digit number. Uh, so, both the parties, AI, ADMK and the DMK Alliance have uh, promised huge freebies, but your manifesto did not really have them. Uh, freebies are given and they are promised to give. Uh, that is not in a good intention. Only for voting, for what they are announced all these things. Uh, BJP is not uh, believe in these uh, freebies. Uh, we are very much concerned about the development of the uh, families and individual persons of the Tamil. So we are uh, concentrating on that side only. Well, the BJP is very confident that its development mantra will definitely work with the people of Tamil Nadu this year.
Well, now that almost all major parties have come out with their poll pledges, NDTV Hindu decided to go to every candidate who is contesting for the assembly polls to find out what changes they would bring in if they win the elections. Our reporter Pratik Shah caught up with BJP Vice President Tamalesai Saundarajan to find out her poll pledge on the, our special segment, If I Win. We're now joined by Ms. Tamil Elsai, the BJP candidate for the Velachari constituency this year. Ma'am, if you win this year, what will you do for your constituency? Actually, I'll make it as a model constituency because it's a newborn constituency. Uh, a newborn baby can be grown according to the wish of the mother. So I want to grow that constituency according to my wish, uh, developed constituency. It is a, an area of uh, recent development and it is a link between the Kanjiburam district and the Chennai district and it is the final most point of the southern uh, Chennai. So I want to develop this as a model constituency. It is filled with uh, middle class people, upper class people and IT people. So I want to make this as a probably a mini Gujarat, probably a mini Karnataka where BJP rules and uh, I want to make it really developed a uh, model constituency particularly because I am a doctor there is no to this stretch from Stanley to that stretch there is no any hospital government hospital so my initial plan is uh, uh, um, asking for a government hospital as well as I plan because I am a doctor as well as a politician 24 hours free clinic along with the 24 hours non-stop um, MLA office. That's my plan. Another thing, development, uh, there is uh, uh, traffic congestion and water logging is the main problem. So I want to relieve the people from all these problems. I want to be a very friendly legislative assembly person. Meanwhile, DMDK's chief Vijay Kant today goes into Kulathur to campaign for his AI ADMK counterpart Saidai Duresami. The known face in political circles has been fielded against Chief Minister's son, Deputy Chief Minister M.K. Stalin for the Kulathur constituency. Stalin is advised by his party leaders who will be contesting in this newly carved out area as against a thousand lights from where he was returned four times. The ruling DMK and opposition AI ADMK will lock horns directly in 84 constituencies for the April 13th assembly elections in the state. Still ahead on headlines now want to know who is contesting from where. It's now just an SMS away. More details will be